basic pay 266,434. Isn't just a game, it is. Isn't just a game. Okay. Welcome to the village. My name is Bonnie. I create content around careers education with a dose of reality check. Today we have salaries from the actuarial, a profession, and also a quant. A quant is a quantitative uh, analyst. <laughs> yeah, so I put them together because it's something that is um, related. And also, there wasn't enough to create a video on quants. Okay, I don't know why are quants are so, so scarce, guys. Like, where are you guys hiding? Okay, so they are a senior quantitative uh, analyst uh, with, with one of the banks, of course. They have about four to five years of experience, both as a data scientist and as a quantitative analyst in the banks. Guys, what is the difference? <laughs> okay. okay, their qualification is BSc in Computational uh, and Applied Mathematics. Okay, and they are currently busy with their honors degree in mathematics through UNISA. Right. So, uh, but the first degree is from one of the top universities, but I don't need to mention the name of the university. Let's see how much they are earning. Guys, you would know what's the difference between a data science and a quant. Okay, so let's check how much they are earning. Guaranteed package, 95833 a uh, pension fund 7100 and uh, there is a disability contribution 867 and then there's something else pension uh, fund admin and gla 8000 okay so basic salary is 86916 so that that excludes uh, the pension fund and stuff so the basic salary is 86916 Okay, contributions, 34,888. Net pay of 52,000 rands. Guys, that's a good salary, hey? <laughs> I think uh, it's a good salary. They are paying 22,000 rands on tax. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, quants, I wish more quants can share their salaries with us. Now, let's go to this trainee. They say they have one year experience. Um... I'll just call them a trainee. They are calling themselves students, but I'm just going to say they are a trainee, a tutorial a trainee. They have five exams. Okay, so they've done five exams. The company pays for all exams, and each exam passed, your salary will increase by 10,000 rands. Each exam has its own leave, etc. Okay, so they have five exams, and each exam you pass, you get... 10,000 rand in, increase. Okay. Please. Oh, yeah. I can actually see on the payslip. It does say um, student actuarial. It says here yeah, salary 38,658. Uh, total deductions 10,200 rands. And a pay of 28,456. Okay. So you said you have five exams, but it's not showing on the salary. Uh, but I don't know guys, maybe I'm confused <laughs> Maybe after this salary, that's when they will start earning if they pass their exams But already they've passed five exams uh, So basic salary is Okay, this is a bit questionable <laughs> It's a bit messy <laughs> Guys, if you haven't seen it, we have an interview with a qualified actuary Basically, like he's done everything I'm gonna leave uh, here's the video somewhere, okay? Uh, he had, so he mentioned that once you pass, like your, your salary, you buy it, but for this one, I'm surprised that he said they top up with 10,000, but it's not showing. <laughs> it's not showing on the salary. Anyway, guys, um, please like and share this video if you find value, of course. Um, yeah, let's look at this actuarial analyst. Four years of experience with uh, four remaining exams out of 12. So it means he has done eight exams already. Okay. Wow. That's good. Let's see how much uh, he's earning for all that suffering. 
These guys, they suffer shame. Okay. Bonnie, take a deep breath. Cash component, 49,866. Gross earnings, 49,000 rands. Total fringe benefits, 84 um yeah so he's got a uh, provident fund 5.6 which is good um okay <laughs> i'm not saying much uh, i'm not saying much and the tax paid is 11,500 they didn't show us the net salary here but yeah they are paying tax and there's other stuff that they are paying for Ooh, okay. <laughs> what is the net, guys? It's around, maybe it's around 20 something. Yeah, I don't know, maybe 28. I don't know, guys, just let me know. Okay, now um, let me show you a qualified actuary before you get discouraged. Okay, I've published this payslip before, but after seeing these other payslips, I was like, okay. I don't want to get my kids discouraged. <laughs> I don't want people to be discouraged. So I need to add this one. It's in Jose game, guys. It's in Jose game. Okay. A qualified actuary. Okay. 10 years uh, post qualification. Um, 15 years in total. <sighs> so this is a statutory. This is a statutory uh, actuary. Okay. Let's see how much they are earning. Basic pay, 266434 Actually, the reason I added this payslip is because someone said software devs earn more than actuaries. And I was like, okay, I can't disagree, but I just haven't seen a software dev that is earning 200000 <laughs> But it's just me. I'm not saying that they are not there, okay? Um, so, right. And then there is um, retirement annuity. I don't know, guys, why is it 88,959 there? And then it says total earnings 375,482. Okay. Um, but on a monthly basis for retirement fund, they are paying 8,836. And then tax. For this month was 140,000 rands. UIF 177. And then total deductions 149. Net pay of 225,000 rands. Guys, I know people have explained why they said 88,000 there. Okay. But I want us to focus on the basic pay which is 266,434 rands. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, guys. Please like and share this video and let me know what you think of these salaries. This coming Wednesday, I wish to bring you a UX designer that did become accounting. But I don't know if our video will be ready because we are only uh, recording tomorrow on Monday. And we were scheduled to record previous week, but my guest couldn't make it. And I am hoping I can get your video ready. And it's a female. I know people have been complaining that they haven't seen females uh, this time around. Um, yeah, guys. Peace, y'all. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Please like and share the video. Bye.